Hey everybody, it's Carolyn from Crop Candy Scrapbooking and Stamping. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you were just browsing YouTube and you came across my video, thanks for watching. I hope it's going to be helpful to you. We're all about simple scrapbooking and stamping techniques here. So if you like what you see, I hope you subscribe, like the video, and hit that little bell to be notified when we post new content. Today, I have gone into the vault, also known as my scrapbooking stash, and pulled out photo corners. I don't know if you've all ever used photo corners on your layouts. These are interesting because they're photo, they're fabric, fabric photo corners. And so I haven't used them in, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 years. So I thought it'd be cool to use on the layout I'm making today. It's a nice fall layout with some pictures from the Bellagio Hotel. They had a very beautiful um, uh, like cornucopia Thanksgiving style type layout. This was back in 2013. I'm sure they have done something different and updated their uh, display since then. <clears throat> but I thought it was really um, beautiful and I took pictures of it and I thought it'd be nice to the season to make a nice uh, layout using um, some beautiful fall colors and these photo corners which match perfectly so stick around to see how the layout turns out. The first thing I'm going to do is to make uh, these fall leaves as an embellishment for the layout. To make these I stamp them using this vintage Close to My Heart stamp set and autumn terracotta ink. I stamped a few more of the images from the set using a fall color palette. Next, I'm going to use Martha Stewart glitter gel to color in the white spaces on the stamped image. These glitter gels are a few years old, so I needed to rub the tube to get them reactivated, but they're still good to go. After I add the gel, I'll cut out the leaves. Make sure you allow the gel to dry before you cut. I let my leaves sit overnight to ensure that they were dry. Have you used glitter gels from Martha or Stickles or Nuvo? Tell me how you use them in the comments below. For this layout, I'm using pattern paper from the Cartabella Hello Autumn paper pack and basil cardstock as a base. Both sides of this layout are mirror images of each other, so I'm ensuring that the elements line up here. Now I'm going to add these border strips that I cut from Cricut. I'm again lining up the strips so they appear to run seamlessly across the pages. I do the same thing with the ribbon. Here are the photo corners. Any of these would coordinate with this layout, but I'm going to use the burgundy suede ones on the main photo and a gold one to accent one of the supporting photos. Next comes the title, which I also cut on the Cricut. You'll notice that I added some of the glitter gel on the A in autumn. Unfortunately, I ripped the the in the at the Bellagio title, so I had to substitute it with green glitter thicker stickers. As scrappers, we make do, right? The next step is to add the leaf embellishments. I placed them randomly on the layout and then I added some pearl dots as accents. I cut out a saying from one of the sheets in the paper packet and sponged ink around its edges. Then I added some adhesive foam dots to the back so that it would pop off the page.
Well, how'd you like that layout, right? It was pretty cool. I just love all the jewel tones of fall, the golds, the greens, the burgundies. I, I love it. I love fall. It's my favorite season. Um, so hopefully you got some really um, interesting ideas that you could incorporate on your own fall layouts. If you like this video, I hope that you actually hit the like and that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you could be notified when I post new videos. Be sure to visit cropcandy.net, my website, where you're gonna get more simple scrapbooking ideas and projects and techniques and a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, while you're there, sign up for my email newsletter where you're gonna get even more stuff from me, but not like an annoying way. I only probably send you something once a month, but sign up so you can get the latest and greatest from Crop Candy. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon.